a featured video on the Euphoria Soft Phone in Zoho CRM. From the CRM page, click on the phone icon to open it. Add the account username and password to log in. Once logged in, the option to use auto register and or WebRTC will show. Selecting auto register allows the login page to be skipped whilst automatically using the credentials supplied when opening the application. Users on Apple products, Chromebooks and Linux operating systems should use WebRTC. Otherwise, when working on Windows, the external client is the recommended option. If the external client is not registered, a pop-up window will appear when the login button is pushed for the first time. This window will allow the completion of the external client registration by following the prompts. To allow the external client to load, ensure that the URL settings allow for notifications as well as pop-ups and redirects. These options can be found in the site settings if not on the lock icon. Once completed, the external client will be registered and can be used. To use the external client, Leave the WebRTC box unchecked and continue. Calls can now be made or received. To make a call, click on the dial pad numbers or use a keyboard. As a contact name or number is typed, a contact lookup will attempt to match the number which allows for dialing contacts by name. The lookup will show contacts that are saved in the phone book, as well as company extensions that are available to dial with their online status. The lookup will navigate to the contact's profile when clicked on, so that notes can be read and made whilst on the call. Once the number is dialed, or the contact selected, press enter or the call button to connect. To answer an incoming call, press the answer button. When on a call there are several controls to choose from. The dial pad button, this can be used to dial another number manually, or to navigate an IVR menu. The hold button, which is used to put a caller on hold, for example, to ask a colleague for assistance, as well as to make an attended transfer. The volume control slider, which will adjust the volume. The conference button, to add multiple lines to a single call. The transfer button for transferring the call to other parties. The speaker button to use the loudspeaker on the device the mute button, which will silence your input, and the hang-up button that ends the call. The plus button will allow the caller to be added to a lead or contact list. When creating a conference call, press the call tab and dial an additional recipient. Once the recipient answers, the conference button can be used to add all the lines to one call. With transfers, a call can be transferred to an internal destination, like a colleague, or an external one, such as a mobile phone. Click on the transfer button, and dial the number to transfer to. During a transfer there are two options. An unattended, or blind transfer. This is when the call is transferred without speaking to the intended recipient first, or an attended transfer. This allows the agent to speak to the recipient before transferring the caller. A caller can be saved as a lead and contact when the plus button is selected. Fill in the lead or contact name, company details, and email address. Then choose whether the caller should be saved as a lead, or contact, or both. Once a call is complete, the information will populate in the recent call list. This list can be used as a quick dial option. Call recordings can be found by users with permissions in the Calls section of Zoho. This is done by clicking on the Calls tab. Find the call you wish to listen to and click on it. Scroll down to the call recording to open it. Cloud phone users can also change their phone status. This will be seen by all internal callers when they call or transfer to your extension. Lastly, personal settings can be adjusted. When settings are changed, press save to ensure all preferences are captured. Thank you for watching.